I'd like you to share the do's and don'ts of selling on LinkedIn because uh, it's certainly great for prospecting and selling, but I think there's a lot of people who don't use it the right way. And I think that can turn a lot of people off. So Beth, I'm going to shut up now and please illuminate us. Sure. So some of the don'ts first. Um, I think people are getting bad advice or they're just not thinking strategically about it. So the behavior that you should not do is the equivalent of a bad cold call or a pushy approach. So it's really very much the same as in person. If you wouldn't do it in person, don't do it online. Um, You've all had this happen, right? Somebody connects with you, you connect with them. What happens next? You get a sales pitch in a message. Would you do that in person? Would you meet somebody at an event and immediately immediately try to pitch them? And if you do do that, please stop. So that's a big one. And I know we agree on that. Um, Some other don'ts are, don't make it all about you. So think of it's it really, it is just like in person. So when it comes to content, if you're just putting stuff out there, hey, I'm fabulous, hey, I can sell you this product, nobody cares. In terms of do's, do give introductions, do share educational and informational content that will help people, do connect with your clients, your prospects, your referral partners, do look at who viewed your profile and act on that information. There's so many do's and don'ts, but the the big don't really is that whole don't do what you wouldn't do in person. 